INEC begs in court today. Tinibu to be sacked after INEC witness with mistakenly exposed themselves. Breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, what happened in court today was really, really funny. I must tell you for the fact, what really had transpired in the court uh, room today was really, really funny. You know, I, you know, INEC brought out their witness today to come and testify against uh, Mr. Pitobi. And as we all know, when a witness is being brought to the court, there will be cross-examination by the petitioners. And today, Pitobi's legal team had to uh, you know, cross-examine this witness that was brought by INEC. And at the end of the day, I must tell you for the fact that INEC ha had to, you know, run away. You know, they were even begging in court. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm going to tell you how the proceedings went and the questions and the cross-examination that uh, uh, Pitobi's legal team made to this witness that made him to confess and mistakenly expose everything that they did uh, during the presidential election. Well, if this is the first time of coming to this particular channel, you know, do well to click on the notification button to uh, subscribe and to be getting more important information and updates. Now, let's go straight to the point. You know, like I've said, INEC, uh, as a matter of fact, is bringing their witness. The name of this particular witness they brought uh, is uh, Lawrence, and uh, Lawrence is from their ICT uh, center of uh, this particular body, being INEC. And the, whole, the summary of what the, uh, this Lawrence is trying to say is that they had a technical glitch during the uh, presidential uh, election day and they were, they were not able to transmit the election uh, results of the pony for only the presidential election. Meanwhile, they were able to transmit other elections that happened the same day and the same minute and the same hour. You know, So it is not left for the Labour Party uh, legal team to you know, uh, counter this evidence and counter this claim that there was a glitch. Now, I would... Uh, Kindly uh, go, uh, put you through, through the cross examination that was made by uh, P2B's legal team. You know, P2B's legal team today was actually, you know, uh, uh, led by Pin uh, Ikweto, you know, who is a son for the Labour Party. So uh, he started his, his cross examination by asking the uh, witness, who is INEC witness, by saying, I'd like to suggest to you that this your application created for this election was tested before it was used. You know, INEC was claiming, uh, like I've said before, they are claiming that they had a technical glitch. Now, this uh, Peter this legal uh, team uh, uh, lawyer is, is, is asking that I'd like to suggest to you that this your application created for this election was tested before it was used. Now, INEC witness said yes. Now, Peter this lawyer went further to say that the testing was done between the 3rd and 6th of February 2023. The witness said no. Now, uh, Peter B's uh, legal team uh, lawyer said, you received the report of testing. The report was received by INEC on 20th February. If you, if you, got, uh, if you all could remember, the uh, presidential election was held on 25th. And the INEC received the report of this particular testing on 20th of February. Now, the witness said, the one we are referring to is the non-performance, is non-performance and functionality test. Now, Peter B's lawyer said, is there a result of the report for the test of 20th February? The witness said yes. Now, the uh, P2B's uh, lawyer said, you produce this report on subpoena. The witness said yes. Then P2B's legal team said, my lord, I apply to tender the document of this report in evidence. Then APC and uh, 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 and the uh, Tinibu and Shetima lawyer actually objected to the tendering of this particular document. Now, let me explain this particular first part of this uh, cross-examination. You know, Like I've said, P2B's legal team is trying to establish that, that there was no glitch that happened during the election. day. If you all could remember, remember he actually brought a uh, an Amazon uh, web uh, 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 worker who stated that the the report from their uh, region where the uh, where Amazon hosted their server had no technical glitches or any error within that particular day. So today uh, they are they are trying to prove what uh, their witness said earlier, being the Amazon uh, uh, web services uh, witness they brought. Now this uh, Peter B's lawyer had to ask. Uh, this particular person being our uh, next witness, whether there was a testing that was done before the presidential election. The witness confirmed and said yes, that there, that there was uh, a, a test that was run on, the, on that particular system or software or uh, app that was used to transmit the election results, and it went successfully well. Now, uh, Peter B's legal team, uh, you know, subpoena this witness, and uh, that is INEC, to, to provide that particular report. They provided it, and Peter B's legal team had to submit it as an evidence. And from the report, they, they indicated that there was no problem because they indicated that they, they've actually resolved the whole problem and everything. They even indicated some of the technical glitches or problems they encountered, but they confirmed that these things have been resolved. Now, let's continue from where we stopped, you know. This was the first part of the cross-examination that uh, Peter B's uh, 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 lawyer, being equal to, actually did. Now he equally continued. He equally continued with the cross-examination. He equally continued with the uh, cross-examination. But by asking this particular question, uh, Peter B's lawyer said, "Would you like to confirm in paragraphs 
seven to seven hundred and fourteen that the report identifies the vulnerability of the server itself. You know, we are we are referring to the report that people these uh, uh, lawyers submitted that showed the report of the testing that INEX submitted uh, before the presidential election. The witness said it shows that the server is at risk and has been resolved. Now the report INEX submitted. After testing everything, showed that the, that the server was at risk, but they've resolved the, uh, the the problem and everything that has to do with that particular server. This is what the report is saying, and you know, Peter Obi's legal team is calling the attention of this particular INEX, INEX witness to the report which the body being INEX submitted. Now, Peter Obi's legal team went for that to say that if the e transmission server was vulnerable, why was it still used? The witness said it was not vulnerable. Now, Peter Obi's lawyer said the performance. The performance test was done at a pre-production stage on 4th of February. The witness said no. You know, Peter lawyer went for that to say, do you see paragraph 7.3.3? Can you see the pre-production on it? The witness said the pre-production is the server he tested. Now, the uh, Peter lawyer said the report also identified the, the remediation to resolve the high vulnerabilities identified in the report. Then witness being the uh, INEX witness did not say anything. He actually kept quiet because this particular question has actually caught them unawares. You know, Peter Obi's lawyer said that the report also identified the re remediation to resolve the high vulnerabilities identified in the re report. That means there was a remedy. There was a remedy to any issue that that could actually be encountered or probably this in the, that they have actually resolved it. Now, the witness couldn't say anything about this because he knows that he has been caught red-handed. Now the witness further went further. Uh, the cross examination went further, and uh, Peter Obi's uh, legal team still continued uh, with the cross examination. Now uh, this uh, equate to being uh, Peter Obi's lawyer said, "I put it to you that the AWS, being Amazon Web Services Cloud, three log will have an event time. We have an event time, event source, event name, and AWS region where it is hosted." The witness said they are listed in the here. Now, uh, Peter Obi's lawyer said, you told my laws that for every election that it is the hard copy that is recorded and sent to IREF, and that the hard copy and the one sent to IREF will not be different. Will it alter the contents? The witness said no. Now, Peter Obi's lawyer went for that to say, how many scores did APC get in the IREF results? The witness said, I don't know. The documents are blurry. Then, they, then Peter Obi's uh, lawyer actually rested his case. You know, you could see how Peter Obi's lawyer actually exposed this particular uh uh, INEX witness, you know, they are trying to claim that there was no technical glitch, that that uh, what happened that day was just an accident. But at the end of the day, Peter Obi's lawyer had to dismantle that particular claim by bringing the attention of this particular witness that the reports um, from from the you know this witness submitted a a a, a, a three uh, log that actually you know showed the report that probably they had a technical glitch that day. Now Peter Obi's lawyer is telling is, is telling him that they equally have an Amazon Web Services uh three log of that particular date that is saying that there was no technical glitch and it was this amazon web services that hosted the server we are this so-called INEC hosted the application so if the amazon web services said there, there is no uh, 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 server, uh there, there was no glitch there is no possible way INEC could be claiming a glitch when their host server says categorically that, that there was no glitch as i'm talking to you INEC uh uh lawyer had to you know, uh, ask for adjournment and beg the court to actually adjoin the case because they had no other thing because they are, the witness did not have any other thing to say because the witness has actually been dismantled and embarrassed by the P2B's uh, legal team. They had to beg for an adjournment, which P2B's team said, okay, fine, let's adjourn it to tomorrow. So that is how today INEC had to start begging. Definitely, Tinibu will be removed. It's just a matter of time. Well, I would like you guys to drop a comment in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel.